Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Yeah! The story of Go uh, Goku. Woohoo! Not Gohan, even though Gohan's right there and he looks way more buff than we do. Look at the little man now. A little man. It's like, whoa, he's, he's, wow, he's, he's still trying to get in shape. Look at the guns on that kid. Holy cow. Oh my cow. gosh, is that Goku? Wow. No, let's go on. I is, mean, is, I mean, go. <laughs> is that go on? That's what I meant to let's say. Let's go on. All right, time to go see Chi Chi. Enter Goku's house. Oh, there she is. No place like home. She's like, wow, my husband has crazy yellow hair. This is great. Yeah, I believe she says he bleached his hair. I think. Oh, wow. We'll find out. That's funny. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Let's take a family vacation. I'm with you, Chi Chi. Wait, don't we have to save the world? Mm, spend time with the wifey. Happy wife, happy life. Chi Chi, but literally, in like four days, the world is going to end when we have to fight Cell. Can't we do it after that? Oh my gosh! So, beast meat, frozen rabbit meat? Where am I going to get rabbit meat? Uh, rabbit. Please tell me you're gonna. Where where do I get the rabbit meat, Chi Chi? Blast! I hate the fetch quest. Oh, so we need frozen rabbit. Where do you get frozen rabbit meat? Ah, uh, frozen. Frozen. So would it be like in the snow or something? Or I love you. Really? I hope so. So in the mountain? Hmm. That's the plan. Alright, that's what I'm here for, to think of crazy ideas. Now we just have to find rabbits. We are two wild and crazy peeps. <laughs> oh, and before I forget people, uh, speaking of that, we post new videos every day at 7 a.m., 3 p.m., and 6 p.m., as well as live streaming around 9 every day. It depends on what it is, so uh, make sure you guys hit that notification bell. So you yeah. never miss a video, make, or uh, just check back on the channel. Make sure to support all Luke's hard work, because he's always editing, uploading, and live streaming, and I'm slacking off every day. No. You do really well on the weekends. No. <laughs> yeah. Any idea where to find the frozen rabbits? Rabbits! Rabbits would ha hang out in like fields and stuff, right? Um, yeah, I guess so. I think so. Ooh, that's something going down there. Oh, it's a village. Yeah, we're trying to hurry and get the ingredients. Yeah, quickly. yeah. Oh, all right. Oh, that's a cook. Oh no, that's not a cook. Maybe we could just buy the ingredients. Let's see if they let us buy frozen rabbit. Do you have frozen rabbit? Tofu. Bean paste. You chicken. got chicken. Can't we just get chicken and say it's rabbit? Mm. Guess what? You want to know a fun fact? Mm. Since I've been in culinary school, I've actually tasted rabbit. Yeah? Uh, they said it tasted like... Everybody says that it tastes like chicken, but it really kind of tastes like... It tastes like chicken, but more like fatty. Like more fat. Like a fat chicken? Yeah. Kind of mm. like a dark meat chicken, but more fatty than that. Ah. So like dark meat, but more than more so. And can't you just settle for like dinosaur? The meat, meat was kind of like more... You know how like chicken is like white? Like, and then the dark meat looks kind of brown. Like, the rabbit meat looked kind of reddish when it was cooked. Yeah. I mean, it did kind of taste like chicken, to be honest, but it... 
It kind of bothered me that I was eating like bumper. Oh, so. mm. I mean, considering rabbits are like pets for people. Yeah. It's a little weird. It definitely is weird. I mean. Oops. Well, I, I I don't know if I necessarily just damaged that house or not, but I might. But I mean, it makes sense. Like a lot. I mean, rabbit probably would taste the same as like other. Like, cause, like, during the depression and stuff, people would eat, like, rabbit or squirrel or whatever, and it'd probably taste similar. I thought all living things are supposed to give off, like, an aura. Yeah. Wait, I thought I saw... What? Wait, oh, was it... Oh, no, it was a dinosaur, I saw, oh. never mind. Yeah, we're looking for tiny things. I was like, there was this giant thing on two feet that was walking, it's like, oh, wait, that was a dinosaur. <laughs> I really don't think I would enjoy dinosaur meat because if it tastes anything like frog legs, then I am not a fan of that. <laughs> because I do not like. I would rather eat rabbit than frog legs, to be honest. Um, I would rather eat. I've eaten a lot of weird types of meat. I've actually had buffalo. I've had rabbit. Um, I've had weird kinds of. I actually had squid, and I've had like venison. And I would have any of those instead of frog legs. Oh, wow. Yeah. As long as you're honest about it. Seriously, are you hitting yeah, me? Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think. The squid is... Well, no, I probably still have squid than frog legs, to be honest. Oh. Oh, that's one pesky robot. Ah! Hi. Okay, stupid rabbit. Well, it's nice to have tried all oh. those different things, but in reality... Ooh! Oh, there's some wolves. Dang it! In reality, it's like, I didn't really like... Us? For instance, like, I one thing I really wanted to learn to cook, like, for culinary school was pheasant and stuff like that. But we, we did cook Cornish hens and, like, pheasants and stuff. And when I tried it, I really didn't like it at all. Like, it sounds fancy, but it really doesn't taste good. So that's what I don't really... I feel like some of that stuff, like stuff that's delicacies or whatever, mm. isn't really my thing. I don't really... I would rather just have a steak, hot dogs, you know, chicken, turkey, regular meats that normal people eat. Fish. Got me some pre-primo wolf meat from a wolf. Hooray. I want rabbits! And... That one day, one of my chefs gave me that snail that was cooked in breading, and I said I was going to try some, but I, I definitely threw it away. I, I could not eat that. I actually broke into it to look what it looked like inside, and it kind of freaked me out. So I had to throw it away. It was kind of funny when we did that, actually. Oh, yeah, you were actually there that day. Yep. Oh, my gosh. I mean, maybe someday I will try snail, like, when I get- maybe when I'm older and my taste buds aren't working as well. Uh-oh. I feel like that's kind of cheating for older people when they're- like, when they have more money and they get older and they get wealthier, then they try fancier restaurants because they've amassed more, like, whatever. Like, they have more money to go to a fancier restaurant, but at that point their taste buds are so shot that they don't really know what they're tasting anyway. So I feel like it's kind of cheating. They're like, oh, I eat snail. It's like, well, you have no taste buds left anyway, so it's not like you can really taste it. That's just my rabbit? opinion. That's a stupid dinosaur again! I know, again. I thought that was a rabbit also, because it looks like one. Look, I don't know, maybe... Uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and guess that we need to go where the blue dot is on our map. Wait, oh, that blue exclamation mark? Yeah, I thought it was gonna be a quest, but I think that's where the rabbit is. But they didn't tell us that. Well, I thought you had to go explore for the rabbit. Yeah, I would assume you'd have to guess where you could find it. Oh, that's a training thing. Also, uh, before I forget people, in between episodes, we did some training. So Goku and Gohan both have their latest abilities. Cool. At least they should. Okay, so yeah. exclamation mark. Yeah, and um just so you guys know, like, um 
Mm, I can't, uh, sometimes I can be on the streams at night, but sometimes I have a lot of homework to do. So, yeah. Oh, that's sometimes new. Sometimes I can't yes. always be on the streams, but I hope you guys, like, support mm, Luke because, um, he's, he's holding down the fort until I can be back on the streams. Oh, it's the Frankenstein monster. Yeah, except for I guess he has a different name in this. Uh, one. he's an android in this. Yeah, it's like he's an android that happens to look exactly like the Frankenstein monster. Mm hmm. But if you think about it, the androids kind of like are Frankensteins. Because they're like experimented on. Frankenstein's monster is the correct term. Frankenstein is the dude who created him. Yeah, well, you should know that from Van Helsing and Castlevania games. I know, no but I still like, don't like this. Wait, was that all the rabbits? Okay, it's saying we were done. So, guys, uh, inside the glacier thing was the rabbit, which I didn't. I, literally, it would for me. It would make more sense. Frozen rabbit would mean rabbit that's out in the cold. Yes, you know, not like... not rabbit trapped in glacier. Yeah, you would think that they would have explained that part, but no, they don't explain. We have enough. We have enough time for a side quest. We'll do that. Yeah, I guess so. Us. Oh, that's right. His name is Ader. Ader. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Uh, it's me, Goku! <laughs> I may look different, but it's me, Goku! <laughs> ah, long time no see. What are you doing? Hmm, <gasps> gathering firewood. This winter is very harsh. <laughs> ah, you're a real nice guy, Aider. <clears throat> but I'm kind of in trouble. The computer inside my body is acting up. <laughs> hmm? Maybe you're just hungry. <sighs> no, that won't fix me. <clears throat> Let me think. Okay, Aider's not feeling well, but not just anyone can fix an android. Help him find someone who can help. Okay. Friends forever! Friends forever! <laughs> Almost old man might be able to. Really? Hmm. Okay, so we're going I to see... I don't know for sure, but I'll ask him. Oh wow, they're just gonna bring us right there, okay. Hmm. If only others were able to find the blueprints for Android 16, 17, and 18 at Jero's lab. You can't use those? Hmm. Android 8 wasn't constructed using a human base. Hmm. Creepy. I am very old type of Android. Well, I guess I'll head to the lab, then I might be able to find something there. Dr. Jero's lab back in the ice world. Alright. Yeah, I mean, it just creeps me out that they would find human subjects to experiment on. And Wait, is that not? Dr. Jero definitely is evil for doing that. Oh, wait. Where is Dr. Jero's lab? Are they saying... Uh, I guess we'll go here first. Friends forever. Uh, are you gonna have his lab? Maybe we have to go to the next blue dot. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. His lab is supposed to be in the mountains. There it is, way over there. We'll be fine. Oh, Android 21 is here. Oh yeah, she is. Yeah, I see your little face there. You can go say hi to her. Hey, Android 21. Mm. Mm. Under this debris <sighs> appears to be... Oh, never mind. Please ignore me. Yeah, this is... Because remember, she becomes a threat later during the Dragon Ball Super stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I mean, the game. Yeah, the game. She, she doesn't appear in the show at all, but she is a creation of... Uh, Toriyama, so it's nice to have her in the new Dragon Ball Z canon. Yeah. When she was human. Oh, right. And so she was made into an android then. She makes herself into an android, just like Dr. Zero made himself oh, into an android. Oh, creepy. Yeah, yeah. Why would she do that? Looks like the lab is right here. Better start looking. Uh, you want me to look for these? Oh, come on now. 
Well, I mean... Uh, I don't know. This, no. I mean, there are advantages to looking young your whole life. But... Yeah, and I mean, like, they keep coming out with new things. Like, they're... They're coming out with technology more and more where they're gonna start pushing that on people like you know like um, you know like those you know in those sci-fi movies for instance you always see people with weird stuff in their eye and they can see all this stuff well they already have like contacts that they can give people that basically can monitor your blood uh, levels and stuff like that just with the contact so like they're already starting to make electronic devices that can go in parts of your body monitor things. It's creepy. Yeah. It, it is creepy to me because I feel like the transition from just hum humanity to <sighs> possibly being cyborgs could go very slowly to the point where people might not even notice that we could all become, you know, cyborgs without even realizing it until we're like, oh my gosh, wait, we're kind of cyborgs now. Yeah. You know? <sighs> this is not the best scrap. Well, what do you think, Goku? I mean, everybody trashed the lab. Yeah. They kind of had to, though. The world was at stake. Uh. Oh, this must be it. That's the last one. I have to land completely. Bingo! Yatta. Yep. What's this? Uh oh. Huh? Kill! Kill! Destroy! I don't know what you are, but you're going down, fools! Oh wow, computers, uh, PS4 is having some ish. Going down there quite a bit. Alright, we need to deal with any small little healing robots first. There we go. Nice and easy now. Ow. Uh. How would I find an ally? What ally? Seriously? Oh, there it is. Is Gohan not hanging out with me? I don't know where Gohan went. I thought he was hanging out with you, but... Oh, he's right over there. Oh, okay. He is there. Hmm. Where did Gohan's little cape go, though? He has it. It's a little burn, but it looks like a file of old papers. Mm. Let's see, what's written here? Android 16, modeled after Garo. Hmm, what are these other pages? Ah, Android 8! <laughs> I don't know what this is saying. Better go back to Dr. Briefs. You got burn files. Yay. Well, now we're going to level up, though, so... Score. Joy of side missions. <laughs> So you can fix Aider, right? Mm. Hmm, yeah, I should be able to. Uh, uh, okay. Ah. Sure thing. Uh, thanks to the documents Goku found, Android 8 was successfully repaired. Yay! <laughs> hey, you look better! <laughs> ah, good as new. Hmm, that Dr. Jiro certainly was a genius. He created an Android as impressive as 8. Mm. Mm, but doctor told me I was failure. Mm. Ah, I can't tell you uh, what's a failure and what isn't. <laughs> mm, I'm happy to be failure, though I got to be friends. <laughs> mm. That's right, because he was a failure, <sighs> then he didn't have to be evil. Mm. Yep. So he could make friends. And because... he just kind of lives his life out in the mountains. Uh-oh. Sayonara. See you soon. Hooray! Story, Story mode complete. complete! Congratulations! Probably gonna give you a soul board thing. Oh, no. Oh, okay, whatever. Alright, back to Chi-Chi. I don't understand why we have vacation time to hang out with a family if we have to fight Cell in a few days. Wait, what? Why did we go here? Don't we have to go home to Chi Chi? Uh. I don't know. Oh, what's up, Roshi? Master Roshi. Oh, 
Oh, Goku. Yeah. Hey, what's up? <laughs> uh, actually, what kind of training have you been doing lately, Krillin? Making milk deliveries in the turtle shell? <laughs> uh, nope. No turtle shells. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Krillin could handle a hundred pound turtle shell. No problem now. Man, that brings back memories. Uh, yeah. I wonder what Jackie Chun, uh, mm. guy is doing. Jackie Chun? Yeah, Master Roshi's disguise. Oh. Basically, uh, Jackie Chun. Uh. Wow, he was pretty old back then. Who, Who knows? knows? Well, excuse me for being <laughs> old. Eh? Yeah? What are you talking about, Master Roshi? <laughs> oh, I guess I misheard you or something. <laughs> I remember fighting you in the tournament too, Goku. That was pretty heated. <laughs> Indeed it was. Why don't you two fight each other now? Uh, are you crazy? Hmm. Well, uh, that's besides the point. I'm not interested in winners or losers. Losers. I just want to see you two go at it. <laughs> <laughs> fight Krillin. Master. Um. Master needs a dentist. It's a little late ah. now. Eh, sounds good to me. Um, all right, let's do this, I guess. Oh, no. Krillin fail counter continues. Wait, what level is Krillin? Whoa! Krillin's pretty... Uh-oh, this could be a problem. There we go. <laughs> Don't underestimate Krillin! Okay, never mind. We're, we're a little stronger than Krillin, so we might be okay. But remember, even Raditz can kick your butt in this game if you're not careful. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, like... Sorry, Krillin. Yeah, if you just kind of, like, don't watch yourself, yeah, they'll definitely come at you no matter... Sorry, Krillin. The screams you make. The poor little Krillin, he's so cute. No wonder... He's hurt. the same age as Goku, though. Aww. Those 30s? Yeah, I mean, that sums it up for me. It's like, I'll always be tiny myself. That's okay. Tiny's cute. And Trudy Teen seems to think he's pretty cute. Well, she did before she got devoured. Oh, yeah. She's, she was definitely taken with him. She's like, wow. I, I found the manliest guy here and his name is Brian. She likes tiny guys. Because she has, like, a, you know, a height. Oh, well, that could have been... Well, I mean, she's pretty short herself, to be honest. Not compared to Krillin! She looks bigger in comparison. Yeah, but she's probably never gonna grow taller than that, because she's probably forever gonna be a teenager-looking jerk person. Actually, she does age. A little bit. Okay. But not until when Krillin is much, much older. Um, she looks like maybe she's in her 40s. You would think Android When he has gray hair. You would think Android 17, though, would be... I mean, most, like... I mean, I knew a, a, a guy and a girl that were twins in high school. And he was much taller than her, even though they were identical twins. Mm. That's enough. Or, they weren't identical twins, but they were twins. Very impressive, both of you. You've grown so much. It makes an old master happy to have such great students. Huh? Really? That's kind of you and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, of course it is. Well, uh, maybe I should uh, get me a student someday. That way I can train him to fight. Eh? Yeah, sounds like you care more about fighting your student than helping them. <laughs> wow. Well, whatever. Train under... Whoever trains under you would have to be crazy strong to keep hmm. up. Foreshadowing. Hmm. Hey, if you do take on some students, uh, you must teach them more than how to fight. They'll need to learn manners and discipline as well. A uh, martial artist is more than just the body they used to fight. Mm. That's true. Yeah, I'm not too good with that sort of stuff. <laughs> Wait, Master Roshi has discipline? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He has self-control because... Uh, uh, well... <laughs> Alright, so we got enough fish now. Maybe just discipline while you're fighting. Yeah. So you're not distracted. We, we could say that. 
Isn't... Maybe we're not talking about personal life here. We're just talking about fighting style mm. discipline. You lack discipline. All right, let's see what the side mission here is. And if you guys are wondering, hey, why aren't you progressing in the story? Because side missions are important because it makes you stronger. Oh. Being strong is important, yo. Yeah, because we need to be as strong as possible before we fight Cell. Yeah, you got it. Oops. I mean, so going on a va family vacation, will that make us stronger also? Um, I don't know. Goku just felt like spending time with his family because he just sensed that he could die. Oh. At least I think no. that's what they said in the manga. Hey, fortune teller! Hmm, <laughs> why are you wait? Is that you, Goku? Uh, yeah, I look a little different, but it's me, Goku! You figured that out. Pretty quick, right? That's because I'm psychic! <laughs> That's not all I figured out. Really? You're gonna ask me how to find you something strong, aren't you? Uh, okay. Ask her about strong opponents. Between worlds. What's going on now? Hmm? How do you know that? Uh, you can read minds too? I don't need to read your mind to know that. Really? Well, then can you tell me if there's someone strong around? Oh, it's you. Yeah. Do you have money on mm. you? Yeah, honey, honey, yeah. You Fine. Got it's not like I'd be able to turn you down anyway. I'll give you this freebie for once. I can't believe this. Most people spend a fortune to get one of my readings. Yeah, whatever. Let's see, yes, huh? Here we are. You'll find the one you seek here. Location of a strong opponent has been marked on your map. Thank you. Haha, -ha, thanks a bunch, fortune teller lady. Yeah. Wait, wait! Your opponent is strong, but most likely some sort of evil doer. Ruffian! Like that surely has a price on their head. <laughs> you take them down, tell me, and I'll take the reward money as payment. Oh my gosh. Uh, so this isn't a freebie after all. My services are Ta -da. never free. Oh well, I'm off then. Haha. <laughs> oh, instead of finding a person that he could spar with, she found a, a ruffian to take down with reward money so she could get paid. It seems like that, doesn't it? That was pretty sneaky. Well, I mean, yeah. Wait, is this where Roshi is? Are you going to take Roshi down? No, I don't. Well, I mean, Roshi is uh, an interesting fellow, but... Okay, so I'm guessing these guys. Some evildoers. Oh, they didn't even have anything to say. Well, if you're evildoers, uh, how about a... Um... Oh, gosh, they're stronger yeah, than us. Yeah, they didn't even have dialogue. Ha 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 ha, Goku, we will take you down. They're stronger. Oh. That's the problem. Oh, hopefully it'll help us increase, but still. Oh, it will if we survive. Alright, we have to get rid of the... If they're healing robots, they have to go. There it is. Okay, whatever. There we go. Now we can cut loose. You wanna go? There you go. Oh, that's right, we have Gohan helping us. I keep forgetting about that. It's like, mm. Gohan's right there. Yeah, he's kind of helping out. He's like, tag team. He's, he's sweet I thought I was doing you. this all on my own. It's like, no, I got Gohan. Oh, that makes life easier. Okay, so those dudes are toast. Where to next? This way. Oh, we should probably have an item so we don't die. Just in case, right? And again, again, people, this is a filler episode, um, because doing side missions is important. So that we can level up and be stronger. That's right. Energy supplement. What does this do? Uh, recovers a small amount of HP over time. Okay. I guess we just did that. Oh, wow, look at it. It's recovering. Oh, uh, it did recover, and then it's... Oh, nope, it's still going. Nice! Yeah. 
Oh, that's all it's going to recover? Ah, uh, that's fine. We're in a lot better shape than we are. We were a second ago, so I'm sure it's fine. Wait, how is Go on a stronger level than us? That doesn't make sense. Well, actually, yes, it does. Never mind. Never mind. Just, just forget it. Forget what I said. No chit chat? Wow. Bruce's forces are kind of lame right now. Would you like a spirit bomb to the face? How about a Kamehameha? That works. Oh. Okay, that was unnecessary. Wow, level what? Mm. You're toast. Hey, Gohan, you want to take this fool? Thank you. <laughs> it was called rock, paper, scissors to the gut, my friend. Yeah. Is there a healing robot anywhere? Yes, there is. Hey! You're cheating! Good job, Gohan! Wow, being dad proud. Ow. Oh, there's another robot. Oh, wait, no, that's not another robot. What is... Oh, that's an alien dude. Seriously? Seriously? It's on now. I wonder how much money she's going to get for having these, like, people taken out. Whoa! What just happened there? I do not know. That was a cool tag team move. Tag team! Father-son tag team! Yeah, it's on! Wow, underwater fight, Luke. Yeah, underwater fights are a thing. It's amazing that you can actually shoot energy beams and stuff underwater. Nice job. The reality wouldn't really work, though. I don't feel like it would, to be no, honest. No, because it's water. All right, let's try one of those energy pellet things again, because that actually worked out pretty well. Uh, what was it called? Energy supplement? Energy supplement. There we go. So you're taking supplements. Mm, interesting. <laughs> Never said Goku was a good guy. <laughs> I just... Are they... Whatever I can do to get stronger! <laughs> what supplement mean? Uh, yeah, hopefully... Has a numb taste. Hopefully those are just vitamins and not anything else. Uh -huh. Oh my god. It's okay because I'm a moron! <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Ow. Oh, come on! Also, people, you'll probably have to wait for tomorrow's episode to see how uh, Chi Chi's quest is finished, because I'm pretty sure that's going to progress the story. I might be wrong, but I have a feeling it's going to progress the story. So, this is mostly uh, about us getting stronger. Yay! Well, I mean, it's important, right? Yeah, I think so. Also, I think Gohan gets stronger when we do this, too. I mean, if we skip all the side quests, then we'll... It, it'll just make the game harder for us. I mean, we could do all the side quests off camera or something, but... Yeah. Some of them are fun to do. I kind of like doing them. I mean, it's supposed to be their downtime. It's nine days until the Cell games, right? Yeah, I mean, they are practicing for the Cell thing. That's right. This is what we do before Cell... Except for, in reality, you... Huh, that was fun! Uh, I could go a few more rounds with someone, though. Mm, I should head back to the fortune teller. You were saying, sweetie. Oh, no. Well, if you think about it, like, Goku and Gohan have already been training for a year in there. So, mm -hmm. like, they could take two days off and then train again. Like, he said that they needed a rest, but they have ten days. They could take two days off and then train for another year. But I mean, if I was taking two days off and then train for an entire year again, I would get really tired. Mm. To be honest, but I don't know. It's them, though. That's They're because insane. you're not Vegeta. <laughs> yeah. So, you've done it? Yep. Uh, uh, but oh. I'm still itching for a fight. Sorry. Ah, uh, well, you always die and head to the other... Oh, you could always die and head to the other world. You could fight as much as you want there. Mm. <laughs> well, yeah, that would be great, but... 
The food in the other world tastes bitter. Plus, Chi-Chi would be really mad if I died again, so I'm good here. Yummy, yummy, that, this should go without saying, but you are certainly a strange one. I suppose that's the kind of savior the world needs in the end. Okay. Wait, she knows Goku's gonna save the world. That's what he does. That's what he does. That's what he does. That's his thing. Oh, so she's gonna be added to the spirit board now. Okay. But why? Yeah! Why is Goku so much stronger than Vegeta, though? Why is he always stronger? Because he's the hero! Haha! <laughs> Plot but, armor! <laughs> but. But Vegeta and him are both Saiyans. I'm just saying. So, oh, wait. I have a feeling this is a fishing game. Nope. 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 Let's is it because Goku died and then came back to life and then. He trained at the Kai world, and then he became way stressed. Mm, part of it. Oh. Uh, oh, it's, it's Emperor Pilaf? Oh, come on, controller. Ah, the new Pilaf machine is finally complete. Goku's as good as dead. Uh, our apologies, Emperor. Uh, we we dropped it. Uh, actually, this may be for the best, don't you think? Now that Goku's an adult, he's much stronger than before. We don't stand a chance against him. Oh, no. What? Are you saying... Don't you believe in Pilaf? F forgive me, sir. <laughs> Just shut your traps and find the capsule! No. Once we find that capsule, we'll take down Goku, gather the Dragon Balls, and finally take over the Hello. world. Uh, what will you do once you've taken over the world? Hmm? Oh, ah, uh, well, uh, first, I, what should I do? Yes, Emperor Pilaf, what will you do? No, shut up, would you? I'm not gonna tell you, it's, it's a secret. Oops. Hey, long time no see, guys. Uh, what's going on here? <laughs> what do we do now, Emperor Pilaf? That weird guy's overheard us. Uh, weird guy? Well, that's kind of harsh, don't you think? It's me. It's Goku. Oh, no. You lie. The Goku I know has black hair. You're an imposter. Ah, huh? uh, right. My hair's different because I'm a Super Saiyan. Yeah. But I'm still me, honestly. Uh, well, he does sound like Goku. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Uh, he's probably going for some sort of punk look. Maybe he has was feeling misunderstood by others, so he dyed his hair as a way of expressing his frustration. <laughs> I, I, I understand being frustrated, but why dye your hair? What should we do, Emperor Pilaf? He heard everything we were just talking about. Relax. We just need to play it cool and fool him. I all right. Hello. Well, you see, we've dropped a very important capsule. Oi. And you just know we do not plan on using the capsule to take over the world, okay? Yeah. That's right. We're not planning anything nefarious at all. You believe us, right? Mm, of course Goku does. Goku's dumb. Not too quick on the uptake. That's Goku. Yata. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I guess I can help you guys find your capsule. Oh my gosh. What? Really? You will? Uh, sure. Uh, wouldn't you do the same for me? Uh, oh, did you hear that, Emperor Pilaf? He's gonna help us. Well, he's exactly a pretty stand-up guy. <laughs> you fools! What do you think he's gonna happen if he gets his hands on the capsule? We'll need to find it before he does. Hi. Yes, yes, sir. sir. Oi. Ah, uh, speaking of our capsule, where exactly do you think we lost it? Uh, I know we definitely still had it before. Hmm. If you guys didn't want him to get his hands on it, what did you guys ask him? Uh, oh. Well, it's probably in this big round circle area. Usually, important stuff is like... You know. Oh. Never mind. I already found it. Mm. I'm guessing this is it. Oops. 
Oh no. Not it. Well, that's not good. Um. Well, when in doubt, blow up a mountain. Really? Come on, Goku, blow that mountain to shreds. Really? Huh. Wow, Goku, you're getting a little weak there. No. You have to save the world, but you can't lift one lousy mountain. Wait, this is... That's a metal. Oh! Oh, oh that's behind the mountain. Oh, well, that, that was it. That's kind of a quick little quest. I like that. Yeah. So do you find our capsule? Yes. Uh, is this a capsule you guys are looking for? Whoa. That's it! You found it! Wow, that was... Story complete. That was pretty quick. Gohan's like, why, Dad? Why? Because he's Goku. No other reason. Gohan looks cute in his cape. Glad to see you guys having uh, what you need. All right, I'm off. Thank you very much. You've really helped us out. Okay, bye! They're playing see ominous ya. music. Ah, uh, wait a minute! Huh? You still need something? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> You're dense! You fell for a hook, line, and sink us! Inside this capsule lies the ultimate weapon needed to finally destroy you! Ultimate what now? Ah, uh, it's an ultra-powerful robot! Uh, wait, you mean there's something super strong for me to fight in there? Then what are we waiting for? N now what, Emperor Pilaf? He seems excited to fight it. Oh, no, no. Oh, he won't be excited for long. Release the new Pilaf machine! We're gonna fight a robot. <laughs> Go! Eradicate Goku! Uh, okay. Wait, this is supposed to eradicate us? Oh, they are level 46. They're the same level as us, believe it or not. Okay. But we're gonna go Super Saiyan. Uh, Super Duper Saiyan. I love that Super Duper Saiyan. Thing. Super Duper Saiyan? It's the next level of Super Saiyan! Uh, what do we call it again? Super Duper Ultra. Yes! Mega Saiyan. Mega Saiyan, I like it! Mega Ultra Super Saiyan! Ha 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 ha! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah, we gotta take out those little... I mean, these things aren't too bad. Spirit Bomb? Maybe after Mega's like Giga Saiyan. Uh... Giga Saiyan. Ow! Your machine is mean! Oh wow. Well, now we're gonna be a level 47, so Yata? Yata! Does that mean Gohan's gonna level up too? So <laughs> not! Uh -huh. Wow, that wasn't much fun at all. Wow, wow. <laughs> oh, he destroyed the machine in the blink of an eye. Well, uh, we've only got uh, one course of action now. Run! <laughs> yeah! We won't forget this! Huh? huh? Forget what exactly? It doesn't feel like they actually were no, in the nope. All right. Okay, so anyway, wow. <laughs> anyway, guys and gals, that's going to do it for this episode of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, the Yay. filler episode. Thank you so much for watching. We leveled up Goku and Gohan a little bit, and we're going to need it to face Cell. But uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and a reminder that uh, later today we got more Tokyo Mirage, and we also post new videos every day at 7 a.m., 3 p.m., and 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with a stream around 9 or 10 every day. But uh, if you guys want to see more of the Cell games, tune in tomorrow as we fulfill Chi-Chi's request and continue the story. God bless Nappy Gaming. See ya!